All right, watch this. I'm gonna show you why this game is so amazing. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna back up, and we're gonna we're gonna hitch up this this 25 pounder here. We're gonna we're gonna drive it to our uh, our little testing range here, where we can uh, shoot at this tank. Let's just let's just turn her around right quick. Set her, set her up, set her up right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get her on the, get her on the road. We're gonna, we're gonna de-hitch it. Here we go. Then we're gonna get out. We're gonna get in our, uh, our cannon. Then we're gonna deploy it. And then we're gonna blow up Miss Your Tank. Yeah! <laughs> this is so cool! What's up everybody? It is a Blue Drake and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the cooler things in brick rigs uh some of the more advanced functionalities that you don't even see in other games like that that's one of the cooler things about brick rigs is i mean even though it's a lego game some of the features that you have in here because it's a game where you can build vehicles from scratch not only do you get a huge number of vehicles all without having to download any dlc or anything like that because the community just makes these they just make these out of the same bricks i mean look at because these are like tires and stuff like that so they use the same universal parts and make these incredible creations so you get everything not only does brick rigs bring you that but it brings some other advanced functionality like the ability to tow objects the ability to have planes the ability to have multi-crew vehicles like there's so much much that you can have uh, just right out of the box with this game. And I, and I want to show off one of my favorite things about this game is the, the towing system. The fact that you can have vehicles that you can tow and you can use, um, and especially with the battle modes coming out. If you haven't seen that, there's there's actually battle modes where you have you know team versus teams. This is going to be something that could be very... Um, Pragmatic. I mean, th th this this could be a big feature in the battles, uh, where where you actually have to tow different weapon platforms to the front lines and set them up for your buddies. There's so much potential here, and I just want to show off how how cool and, and universal these systems are. So we've got our little truck. This is one of the uh, tow capable vehicles, and the thing is, is this can tow anything that actually has a hitch. Um, so, for instance, there's this other flat cannon over here. And we could just go ahead and um, grab this. Now, unfortunately, our, th we, we actually may not have as large an engine as, say, some of these other vehicles. So that's another thing that you have to keep in mind, like your actual towing capacity. Go ahead and hitch that up. Bam! So so it's a little bit, a little bit hard for me to actually tow this thing. So let's say we've got our little flat cannon here, and, and then we see an enemy convoy down the road of people who have... An obscenely slow reaction time. We can sit here and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna set up our flat cannon <laughs> for an emergency emergency flat cannon deploy. We're gonna get in it. We're going to then deploy our stabilizers. Get in the turret and say goodbye to Mr. Warblewind. Ooh. If I can get a turret shot. <laughs> Let's see what kind of damage that did already. Oh, wow. Internal explosion. That was interesting. That was actually really cool. Let's try taking a shot at the tank. Here we go. Shot one. Shot two. Alright. See if we hit any of the crew. Ooh, another explosion. Oh wow, this, he actually, wow, he didn't take anything at all. What do you know? The crew is still entirely safe. Look, there's even a dog in here. I don't know, I don't know why they put a dog in the tank, but you know, hey, whatever. Uh, let's take a few more shots at this whirlwind. Die, whirlwind.
I love I love the new damage. The new damage values are pretty cool. Look at that. All the guns are messed up. That's not that's not shooting anywhere anytime soon. That looks really, really cool. But that's that's the cool thing about this. Like you can actually set up vehicles like this. And here's here's what I'm hoping here in the, the near future, what's gonna happen. You're going to be able to have a battle server, and you're going to be able to have units that the team can purchase. Um, for anybody that played like Battlezone or even even a Company of Heroes kind of style, where you have two teams, and at the main base they have a selection of pre-built things that they can purchase, uh, and then when they purchase these things, they can take them out on the battlefield. You know, the flat cannons maybe cost a little less than like a full-blown tank, um, but this is the kind of cool stuff that I think Brick Rigs is actually going to be capable of. You guys saw in the one of the previous live stream we actually had that event where we had a whirlwind wind and then a bunch of infantry like uh you know uh marching alongside the whirlwind wind and then we actually had like an outbreak of conflict like it was really really cool the things that you can actually do Let's shoot this a couple few few more times see if we can actually break through the lower armor in fact when we were playing in a multiplayer server earlier um the cool thing was the entire top portion of the whirlwind was blown away but since the seat for driving the whirlwind is actually in the belly of the vehicle let me see if i can find it i think it's somewhere in here i don't really know um the, since we were in the belly of the vehicle and not in the turret we actually survived and we were able to get out and and actually like continue fighting that that's the kind of cool stuff that you're going to be able to have in brick rigs in other games it would spend the, it would it would take them so much time in order to build like armor penetration values and then have you know interiors of the vehicle where you can get shot like most games just have like a health value of a tank and then it goes to zero and then it explodes but in this this is great. You can blow up every single tiny detail, and it actually have ga has gameplay implications. So, you know, if there's a different crewman in different parts of the, the vehicle, that'll actually affect things differently. So, for instance, let's take a few more shots of these this tank, and you guys saw the crewman inside the tank. Let's actually see if we can aim for the uh, the body of the vehicle. Maybe, maybe uh, take out some of those crewmen. But try not to hit the dog. I love dogs. All right, let's see if that hit. Ooh, dang. Yeah. See, now, the, the turret has been damaged and, and mostly destroyed. But the, uh, oh, you know, actually, look, we did. We took out one of the, uh, we took out the driver of the vehicle. The driver has now been taken out. Let's see if we can take out the, uh, the secondary gunner here. Move over just a titty bit. Oh, he's still alive. He is still alive. Look at that. The front the front armor plating is actually holding. What we want to do is we want to shoot for this uh this this secondary gun here. Aim here. Actually, I believe I should be able to zoom in. There we go. Oh, that must have got him. Actually, you know what? Maybe not. Nope, he's still alive. He's still in there ever so slightly. Trying to get away from me, huh? And look, the gun already has recoil and everything. Oh, the tank is falling apart. Tank is falling apart. There we go. I see him in there. I see him in there. I'm going to get you and your little dog, too. Oh, wow. He's still alive. Look at you. I haven't even hit the dog yet. But this is crazy. Look, so, so far... If you were if you were inside this vehicle, you would still be alive. I can get him. I'm gonna get you. If that doesn't get him, I'll be surprised. Oh, there goes the turret. Turret just popped off. There we go. Got him. Got him. Upper half of his body completely demolished. Hey, look, the dog's still completely fine. Yes, the dog survived. <laughs> Yes, that's that's what I call precision work. Precision work, ladies and gentlemen. But that's that's the coolest part about this. Like you can actually blow these things open from the inside. Like there's internal explosions. You see these little little ammo. Actually, let's see if we can hit the engine. Bam! There we go. Now since we've hit the engine and the ammo stores. Woo! 
oh, now the entire thing's gonna be on fire. And that's another point. You know, when you play this game, you're gonna have different compartments of the uh, the different tanks. If we, if we were if we were somehow able to hit that first, we would have put this entire thing out of commission in one shot. Everybody would be burning alive on the inside now. And that's the coolest thing. That is the coolest thing. Look at that. All the ammo exploded. The the engines on fire, everything else is on fire. It's so cool. And then, when you're done decimating the convoy, you can uh, pack this bad boy up. Let's see if we can uh, move to our central position. Pack up the stabilizers. Get out. Get in our little uh, transport truck here. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to. It's gonna be hard to to hitch this up on a on a little hill like this. I really hope I have the. Uh, come on, come on, back it up, back it up, son. Come on, give me that RPM. Give me that sweet, sweet horsepower. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get it up and hitch. There we go, hitched. And we are on our way. How cool, isn't that awesome? Like, I really love the fact that you can like hitch things up. It's almost like um, I used to play spin tires and this is almost like spin tires, but you actually have weapons and you have um, multiplayer where you can get in and outside of the vehicle. Like that is just the coolest thing. That that is probably and look, even even the traction is different if you're on or off the the road. So we're we're gonna go off road here, get around this this burning wreckage of a convoy, get back on the road. It's so awesome so cool. The, the amount of things that you can do with this in multiplayer is just unparalleled. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and by ladies and gentlemen, I mean just gentlemen because it's a sausage fest around here. That is it for today. I really wanted to show this off. I thought this was probably one of the cooler things about Brig Rigs that for some reason nobody's like showing off. Everybody likes showing off the planes and you know like racing and stuff like that. But the towables, like the fact that you can actually tow things and set up flat cannons is the coolest thing as far as I'm concerned. Um, so we're actually going to be doing more videos on this in the future. Uh, the battles mode is getting better every single day. He's patching it all the time. And I really want to do some live streams um, with the community where when when the battle mode gets a little bit more fleshed out and a little bit more stable and we can actually have battles like this so make sure you stick around when you subscribe make sure you click the bell and hit uh, send all notifications because we do do live streams with this game and I want to make sure that you get the notification when the live stream goes live uh, so you guys can hopefully be there for for these amazing battles um, but yeah that is it Thanks so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. If you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments below, and tell me, what should I cover next? What do you guys think I should show next in Brick Rigs? Or maybe even another game? I want to know what you have to say. All right, love you guys. See you next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Ah.